The opener was everything we could have asked for. And now this building stretched to capacity. Game two of the World Series between the Baltimore Orioles and the New York Mets. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here hey, on the show. I'm joined by Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, an important ball game coming up here in Game 2. Yeah, and you see a really good start for the home side. They did what they needed to do in the opening game of this series. And the crowd, that made a huge difference. They were behind their guys all the way. And boy, oh boy, were they loud. And I've got a feeling that not Ooh. much is going to change here in Game Number 2 set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now your 2020 New York Briefly here, a glance at the two starters who will get the ball here in this one. With that, here's how Buck Showalter lines his Orioles up in this one. Who's the one to watch, E.K.? Well, who doesn't love watching Manny Machado do his thing? He does a lot of things right at the plate. Takes the simple approach and it tends to pay off. Settling in now, Manny Machado. He'll get to take his first cut here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Lumberjack here, and again, what an opening. Welcome to game two of the 2018 World Series. New York Pats versus Baltimore Orioles. And, well, let's see if... Let's see how this game goes. Ground ball sent back up the middle, fielded by Suriaco. And a rather easy first out. In the second spot tonight, Striding Kelly. into the box, Charles Ishikawa, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. High and deep to left center field, Casilla ranging back at the track. He gets there, and that's the second out. Chris Davis gets his first opportunity now in the top of the first with nobody on. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. And you know, these guys were shut out last time. And hey, that's going to happen here in the postseason. I mean, it's not like you're... Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. What's the key to sending fans home smiling tonight, Steve? Well, I'll tell you what. This team has their ace on the mound, so it's probably not going to take a whole lot of offense to get a win for them. Count is full. Here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Jones is under it. One down. Batting second. Left field. Alfonso Casilla will get his first cuts here. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. One and two is the change of had him out in front there. I will admit that was a good pitch. Against this line on the corners all night long. Line towards center field. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Yeah, a one-out base runner here in the bottom of the first. Now you've got the three, four, five guys coming up. Let's see if they can turn this into the first run of the ball game. 
Brian Wood takes his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Hit hard up the middle. Oh, right and through the five hole. Long throw to third. And the throw by Jones will not be in time. He's in there at third. You hockey fans will know what I mean by right through the five hole. Doesn't roll over and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Standing in now, Scott Young inside with the Ooh. slider, and that'll back him up a bit. And even on 0-2, you don't want guy to get into a comfort level up there. He got him, and it'll oh. probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Man, Vinny Batista will stand in now for the first time coming off. I will admit that was a good pitch, performance but that still. Swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Adam Jones makes his way to the plate. He'll get us started here in the top of the second. And this is a guy that can make a big change in this game with one swing of the bat because you know he has big-time power. Ready to deliver the one and two. And that is swung on and missed by Jones as he becomes out number one. Right over the top here with the four seam fastball. Good drive through the release. Just threw it right by him in the letters. Yadier Molina will dig in now, and he was one of the bright spots offensively in the game one defeat last time out. Yeah, he, he did his part. He just needed a little more help. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes as Mr. Ed Drummond. Well, Matt, Drummond is a really well-respected umpire. Pretty rare that anyone has a major beef with the way he calls the strike. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. Curveball, or maybe even the circle change there. Two and two, regardless. And Molina swings and misses that time as he's a strikeout victim here. Two away. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring in the right fielder, Hunter Pence. Swinging away, and now the count will be three and one. And the three-one screwball finds the zone as the count runs full now, three and two. Hard hit ball to second. Wood over to his left. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Whew. Mark Trumbo strides into the box now to lead off the home half of the second inning. Oh, that one got the pitcher. And this sails right over Davis's head. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Yeah, you might have been better off not trying to throw. But you're not going to be able to make the play. you got to eat this ball. Stick it in your back pocket. But somehow he thinks he can recover from that bobble and throw it anyway. And you know what happens then? That's a big E. Yep, E1. Blake now, Eric Hosmer. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and yep. one. Right side, hit hard. Oh, look at Davis. He's up with it, the throw. Got him. Woo, no problem. Boy, you just really have to marvel at that play right there. I mean, if he doesn't knock this thing down, it's a run easy. But not only does he come up with the ball, but he also has the presence of mind to hit his pitcher perfectly in stride to get the out on the play. Pedro Siriaco stands in. Bottom of the second here with no score. Yep. All I have to do is put the ball in play, and we're good. This is line to left. And there's a base hit as the runner will score from third, and that gives the Mets a 1-0 lead. All right, I will take it. Jason Hayward steps in with one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. That's been a pretty good inning here so far, so we'll see if they can scratch another run across right here. 
to two balls and two strikes now. I think you have to ask yourself, was he trying to throw a fastball for a strike right there? Or was he just trying to set me up for that changeup away? Runners off for second. Swing and a missed strike three. The throw uh, might have been in time, but it's high, and it allows his man to dive in safely. Yep. Mike Linebrain will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. Yeah, but it's still a pretty good lead off that bat because he made him throw a lot of pitches. Hot shot down the line. Throw on to Davis takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. All right. We got Eli one run, so stand in now to lead hopefully we won't need more than that, but to start the third inning. And maybe one of these guys can break this string of six straight retired to start the ball game. Chop foul with the plate and he stays alive, still 0-2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Protecting on 0-2, so we'll do it again. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Ground ball left side. Batista is up with it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gone, and here's the second baseman, Jonathan Scope. That's right there at the belt. One and two now. He's getting a lot of outs right now because he's attacking the hitters. He's not dancing around the zone. Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So <laughs> in the third. Garrett oh yeah. Will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Uh, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, look, you're taken until you get a strike. Not a bad idea. And he'll get under it to put it away in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. It remains one nothing. Alfonso Casilla digs into the box in the bottom of inning number three. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Oh, and I think that got him in the foot. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. They probably wouldn't have had a play. Time to check and see if our man is all right. We can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. And that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. Scott Young is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yep, they sent him packing last time, so maybe they have a pretty good idea of how to attack him again right here. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Yeah, this would be a bunting situation, but it's too early in the ball game for bunting, so we're not bunting here. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. But yes, this would be a good situation for a bunt for those who are thinking about it. He doesn't have any consistency with that release point. He's all over the place. Grounded to third. This could be two. The second for one. Back to Davis, and they turn the double play. Probably should have bunted there. Into the box. But I mean, third inning, it's a little too early to be playing small ball. It was a pretty big strikeout, too, because he had a chance to drive in a run, so I'm sure he's going to be thinking... Well, the play's yeah. been made, and that retires the sun. <sighs> Manny Machado will stand in the <sighs> half of the fourth. All right. These guys still looking for their first hit of the ball game, And still looking for their first base runner, too. Nine up, nine down. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Down the third baseline. But well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Oh, 
This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Line break has it in his tracks. He's got it one away. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Charles Ishikawa. He flew out in his last at-bat. Well, at least he was able to get it into the outfield, and that's more than most of his teammates can say so far. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Chris Davis digs in with his team still looking at a zero in the hit column. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at-bat will continue. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They still trail one nothing. Mark Trumbo is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Here's the one and one pitch. One. Swinging a soft liner. Throw on to first in time, one away. Drat. The first baseman, number 35, Eric. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging in the ah, swinging at a pitch I shouldn't have again. The inning. Up next for the Mets, Pedro Siriaco stands in Pedro following an RBI Siriaco. single his first time through. Yeah, and so far that's been the only real offense in this game. And now, meanwhile, never mind. We thought it. We have hit home run in the World Series. Clear the wall, a home run. And it's Pedro Siriaco who gets the first home run. In a 2018 World Series. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer here in the series. As the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Pitcher's got to be thinking, how can I throw a pitch like that in this situation? That thing was so right down the middle, it absolutely got hammered, and he knew it as soon as he let go. 4 1, wow. Into the box now, Jason Hayward. Swung on and missed, and that's the foul oh. out of the inning. Good pitch. Should have taken it, though. Pick up a run on this solo shot. We play. Adam Jones will stand in to lead things off here. And his guys have been unable to get anything going to this point. Yeah, and you think so many times in the postseason, we see starting pitching really come to the forefront. And this guy's been every bit as good as advertised so far. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth with a punch out, one away. And I'll tell you what, he's throwing with a lot of confidence right now. And he's also taken some chances with location, but you know, he's thinking he's bulletproof out there, and so far he has been. Yadier Molina comes to the plate looking to put the ball in play. He went down on strikes last time. 2 1 pitch is a slider taken for a full strike, two. Well, that's just unfair right there. I mean, most guys throw a 91 mile an hour fastball, he's throwing a 91 mile an hour slider. Fastball, strike three called. As he Dude, Molina, you should at least swing the bat. I mean, come on. Hunter Pence stands in looking to put the bat on the ball for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Frozen for strike three, and that retires the side. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Game two coverage rolls on after this. Mike Linebring comes to the plate as we get started here in the bottom of the fifth. And you know, guys, I love a guy like this leading off an inning for you. He makes good contact and he can run. 
three and one. And this is exactly what he does so well. He'll make you so convinced that you're going to see a fastball, and then he's going to go the other way on you. And the count will be full. Ah, uh, Drets. Just a little in front there. Now watch as he starts a fastball, right? Just staying alive, putting together a really good at Stay alive! Sorry. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Lifted in the air to center field. Jones has a beat on it. Makes the play one away. Alfonso Casilla will be the batter. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Well, two singles isn't necessarily an eye-catching performance, but hey, I'm sure he's feeling just fine about it. No wow, that, that did look a little, a was a little iffy he for a strike, but... He wants to stay away from throwing the fastball. Almost like he doesn't want to get burned. Moving under it, Jones. Two down. Now in the box, Brian Wood. He singled his last time up. Well, at least he got a home run in this World Series, so that's good. Swing and a ball shot. Ah, right at home plate. Probably should have taken it. That was ball two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ah, swung at ball three. Eli Schwartz. Will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the wall that he's been on. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Jonathan Scope is into the box. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a pretty decent at bat. As I remember, he saw a lot of pitches and really made the guy on the mound earn that strikeout. That's in there on the outer half. One and two now. And that misses two and two. Orioles still looking for their first hit of the ball game. A little bouncer. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. All even at two and two. Here it is. And he punches out another one, make it nine for the ball game. Not only is you know, guys, you are supposed to swing the bat, you know. So his control has been really, really spot on so far. Just, just you know, you Orioles players, you are supposed to swing the bat. You know that, right? Stepping in now, Garrett Couch. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And right now, these guys just need something to break their way. A blooper, a bunt, a hit by pitch. Something to get a base runner and give that guy something else to think about out there. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Grounded to third. Batista takes it in. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're still down. It's 2 nothing. Scott right. Young gets things started here in the sixth for the hometown team. And now a right-hander up and throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff. <laughs> pin, pin, excuse me, swing there, but I will take a single. You talk about a guy who really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. He's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. Vinny Batista will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. On oh, a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. And this has been a common problem for all of these guys. They just can't lay off that pitch down and away. And he reaches for one out of the zone and yeah. rather badly for the first out. And not wrong. I probably should not be swinging at that pitch, but swing and pray. 
Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Jones going back. Gone! All right, I will take a two-run home run. A two-run homer here for Mark Trumbo. His first homer so far in the series, and the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. to it and that's one of those where you know it's going to be a home run as soon as you let go of it <laughs> oh it darn look at that the pitcher's going out, out of the game and he's going to motion I I here. that'll do it for the starter tonight david van will be the new pitcher van swing and this is also hit well out to deep center jones racing back he tracks it down and makes the play to record. Yeah, the in any out. other park, that's probably a home run, but in, it is 408 to center. So, yeah. What he's got in store for us here. Well, that was a fastball that he hit then, so we'll see if they go out there on the hard stuff again. Throw on to Davis, takes care of him, and that'll end the inning. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two run home run. Top of the order due up to start the seventh. It's now 4 0 New York. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. It's on to the seventh now in game two, but before we start, there's a look at our game summary to this point. And slider is in there. Now it's one and two. Oh, another good pitch there. I'm not sure he's throwing a bad slider tonight. Every one of them has had a ton of movement. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. One away. And for you at home, all I'm going to do is direct your attention to the hits column right there. It is what it is here in the seventh inning. And they'll go off. Ah. This pitch misses. Oh, it's a little too early on that one. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. One of the things that makes him so tough to hit, the ability to put his pitches right on the black. Yeah, I mean, you watch the catcher's glove on some of these, and it literally does not move. That's how good his stuff is. On to first, and there were two down. Two out, nobody on. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Good battle continues as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count remains three and two. Fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. No walks yet. Here's the delivery. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Good battle. Count remains full. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. And he struck him out to retire the side. So he's through seven complete, still working on a masterpiece. Stick around because Jason Hayward will lead things off when we come back. It's the mess. And there is Jason Hayward. He'll try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, straighten him up. Fastball. It's why yeah, is all I can say about that. Like that. Why? That's a pitch you gotta leave alone and make him bring something down. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now that it. Mike Linebring will stand in. Yeah. Good job keeping him off base at the top of the He's lineup. been pretty for three, kept pretty quiet in this series. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run.
So a two-run homer down the line in right field. His first homer here in the series. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. This is just your classic fastball up over the heart of the plate. I don't even have to do a whole lot of analysis on this one. You put that pitch there to this guy, he's going to take it over the wall. Simple as that. Smoke toward the hole. And that's in there for a base hit in his third hit of the game. Oh, yeah, he's got that magic wand going now. That's his third hit in four trips. All of them singles. Okay, so it looks like we got a new pitcher. I hit the button too quickly to see who it is. Sorry about that. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, one and two now. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Throw just does get him at first as he was really moving that time. Scott Young digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. And they take another single right here, too, no doubt. Runner in scoring position, so any ball into the outfield probably gets him home. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Jones is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Vinny Batista. Come on, Vinny Bats. One of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. Yeah, guys, he's got to be feeling a little bit like that dog that gets left out in the rain while the rest of the family's inside. Ah, uh, that's probably going to be an E4. The run scores from second. It's seven nothing. That is most likely going to be an E4. You've got a guy going for a shutout. You may as well get him some more help. I doubt he'll need it, but they're able to add on for him here. Well, there isn't. Here's the pitch. I had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Yeah. That look says it all in the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? On the ground near home. Throw on to Davis takes care of him and that'll end the inning. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now seven. Well, if they say it's a home run, I guess it's a home run. It looked like it landed foul to me, but you know, the angle of where they showed the camera, you know. He, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Looking to avoid his first walk. Chopped foul right at home plate. And another foul ball. And he struck him out for the first out of the inning, but perhaps more importantly, he's five outs away now. And just another outstanding pitch right there. And it's not easy to do with so much on the line here in the eighth inning. But he's now down to his final five outs. Yadier Molina stands into the box. He's 0 for 2 so far in this one. Here it is on 3 and 1. On the ground to third. Oh, what a stop on the slide. He's out. He's out. No way. That was awesome. I mean, just... Wow. Even I'm impressed by that play. Get something started here. And their chances of getting back into this ball game are growing dimmer by the batter. Got him. So that's eight perfect innings, and the fans can feel it now as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Eric Hosmer digs in to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. And so far in this ballgame, he hasn't even been on base yet, so we'll see if he can make an adjustment here. He's set. Here's the three and two. Driven to right field and deep. Back goes Pence, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. 
And he's able to hustle his way up the second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. You know, I wasn't quite sure where this ball was going to come down. You can see he just drives this one up into the night sky. During the daytime, maybe it's out of here. But at night, this one's going to bounce off the base of the wall. He's able to uh, in the second with a well-hit double. Again, swinging that pitch I probably shouldn't have. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. The one and two pitch. Good change up in the dirt. Strike three. Molina has it, and he makes the throw to first. Siriaco is retired, and there's one away. Jason All right. Well, at least we got the runner over. After reaching on a single this last time up. Sent on the ground out to second. Taken in by Scope. Throw will get him to the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in the All right. Third. And here with the infield. We've player, got it. Given you the run on a ground ball. So he just takes advantage of that and drives home the run. Mike Linebring bats now and will try to start over with the bases empty and two away following the RBI ground out. And all he's looking for right now is a pitch that he can drive somewhere. He's got to get on base and preferably in scoring position. So maybe he can get his teammates to drive him in. Alfonso Casilla digs in. He reached on a single and would later wind up scoring in his last at bat. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So, what's that? Four home runs in the game for us now? So a two-run shot to left center, his first homer so far in the series, as they just continue to pour it on here. And this is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing, and sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. Ryan Webb will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Into the box, Brian Wood. One and two now as that one's fouled off. All right, let's get this done. Turned on down the line. A dive, but it's off his glove. And by no. the time he recovers, they'll have no play on him at first. It's an infield single. Yep. Scott Young will stand in. He flew out his last time up. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. A little behind ah, on that swing. I should have let that go. Shorten up maybe and protect the plate. One and two. Here it comes. Hit down the line at first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Game two heads to the ninth inning. It's the Mets 10, and the Orioles nothing. Now, beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. Eli Schwartz will stand in to start off the night here with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Here's the one and two delivery. Got him. So the magic number for a perfect game is now down to two. That's a big one there to start the night. Two outs away now. You can catch attention in this building with a knife. Jonathan Scope will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ball game so far. Well, we've been talking about it a lot. But this offense is just getting shut down right now. We've seen some really fantastic pitching in this one. The 0-2 home. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. Out in 
fun of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 2. Ground ball right side. To his left, Wood. On the first, and the Orioles are down to their final out. Up next for the Orioles. Up Garrett Orioles. Couch will stand in here as the 27th and many hope final batter in this masterful performance. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Manny Machado would be next. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. A pretty dangerous spot for that one. Yeah, I don't think it was by design. It's one thing to miss your spots out of the zone, but when you miss in the zone, especially up, that's when you tend to get hurt. And a fly ball, and this should do it. Hayward is the Oh, my God, I fucking did it. I scored the perfect game. Holy game. shit. Absolutely dominant. I mean, what else could you say? 27 up, 27 oh down. Oh, my and God. You know this is the first time I've ever it. witnessed a perfect game. So it's one of the hardest things for a pitcher in the world to do. Probably the hardest. But we were fortunate enough to see it here, guys. A perfect game. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Well, you don't have to look too far to find our top player of the game. I'd say any time you throw a perfect game, you'd be a pretty strong candidate. Yeah, really a dominating performance out there. Look at all the strikeouts. I mean, they just couldn't touch it. So that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Mets come out on top, 10-0. Good night from Flushing. Oh, my God. I can't believe I actually taught it. Oh, I can't believe I've actually thrown a perfect game. Oh, my God. Oh my god. For the Orioles, no runs on no hits. One error, they left no runners on base. Oh my god. I can I still just, No words! Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this episode. As always, I've been the Lumberjack. Try to behave yourselves. I will see you next time. And peace.